It's when night falls, however, that things start to get really advanced. When it gets dark, the headlamps come on automatically. That's fine, of course, but it's a bit 20th century, so what I'm going to do now is turn on the infrared camera. Watch the speedo, and... This means I can see much further than I can with ordinary headlights. And the extraordinary thing is, is it's not distracting. You just glance at it like you glance at the rearview mirror. Really is quite something, this. Especially if you're a dogger. Just put dogging in the sat-nav and say... <laughs> However, polymorph vision is just the beginning. This is where the S-Class really gets into its stride. It's even got a DVD player and surround sound for the full home cinema experience. And it's the first car in the world which can receive digital television. This means, of course, that you get all the digital channels, QVC, Quiz Call, Price Drop TV, Fashion. That means, of course, you're never more than two clicks away from something with Richard Hammond in it. Yeah, man, I used to try. The best thing, though, is that all this stuff is so easy to use. And that means this is a very relaxing car to drive just selecting what sort of massage I'd like from the uh, driver's seat here. I think this feature is called the Bangkok Ladyboy Tronic. Slow and gentle. Oh, yeah. Tests have shown that in an S-Class, your heart beats five or six fewer times a minute than it does in, say, a BMW. So if you buy one of these, you'll live longer. And so, apparently, will our precious planet.